It was DNA evidence that led to the conviction of a Washington County man charged years later with killing his pregnant girlfriend. But he's arguing in court now he deserves a new trial because he says the judge who sent him to prison may have been high on cocaine. You can't have uh, jurors or judges that are intoxicated when they're hearing the case. That's not fair. Robert Irwin is serving 10 to 20 years in the 1977 murder of his pregnant ex-girlfriend. He wasn't charged until 2010 when newer DNA tests linked him to the death of then 16-year-old Mary Gensi. Irwin and his family argue he deserves a new trial because the judge who convicted him, Paul Pozonski, was later convicted of stealing cocaine evidence for personal use. Irwin's sister, Ruth, testified today about how Pozonski behaved during the non-jury trial. He looked like something was wrong with him. He antsy and holding his head down, not listening to any anybody on our case. But Irwin's defense attorney during the trial didn't see it that way. I can't state that with any certainty that I saw anything out of the ordinary with Judge Pozonski during the trial to suggest that he was under the influence of drugs or any controlled substances. Irwin's lawyer now, Brian Zeiger, argues Irwin deserves a new trial. As for why the former judge, Pozonski, wasn't called as a witness? You'd have to ask the DA that. Well, he says you could have called him. I could have, but I believe that the police investigation speaks for itself. The attorneys have 30 more days to file additional material with the judge. When the judge will reach his decision, no one can yet tell. At the Washington County Courthouse, Bob Mayo, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.